The movie will start from Trespass, and the previous events will be told in expository dialogue when the band members talk with Anthony Phillips before he leaves. But before that, they show a bit of the process they were going, with John Silver leaving and how that impacted the morale of the band before Ant left. Also Jackson tapes. Phil Collins will enter the band with a funny scene of him watching everyone play drums while he's taking a sh**. Sorry, sorry, I misread while he's taking a swim. After that comes the brief period of them being in a four-piece. It will be another fun montage of them failing, but contrasted with the construction of light. Sorry, with the construction of the musical box. A bit that appeared earlier in the movie with Ant playing. Steve Hackett joins soon after, and the whole band is seen playing the rest of Nursery Crime, with Steve and Phil developing for absent friends and then being happy that the band accepted the track. A wholesome Shungus moment. More live playing and we reach Foxtrot. It seems like the band found peace in the five Ps, finally. But we introduce the producer as the villain of this captor, as well as the band getting mad at the bad 70% C-covered cover that the Foxtrot album boasts. And then Peter coming out gay! I mean, coming out to get you. I mean, in drag on a sweaty, smelly London fight club, with a fox head at the end of the musical box, as you would, and then Melody Maker, you know the deal. But the most important scene here that disrupts the entire movie is... A flower? We reach selling England. The band was feeling comfortable with having almost no ideas on what to make, so the entirety of this scene is dedicated to them rehearsing one beat and adding into it so much that it gets you ebbing forested again? <laughs> yes, that's how they made it. After that, the band sells England to America. While there, they see TV evangelists in shock and laughter. Now, it's Headley Grunge time. The band is seen entering with their families. The field of the place is reduced for modern audiences. There is a fun scene of a not fun moment where the scenes cuts constantly between the band making the album and Peter doing other things. This gets interrupted by the evil jam when lightning strikes the sky or something like that. There is also a fun montage of the band playing live and what the music tries to make you imagine getting constantly interrupted by the live mistakes. The scene of Peter leaving is played extremely sad with the announcement before the tour, and then the final show getting cancelled. The news filter on the press, depression and shoes, this section is the most dramatic part of the movie. There is tension with Steve doing his solo album. The band reconvened very fast and Steve couldn't come back in time. Then a fun montage of auditions happen. Phil does the album, so next is Big Bill and you know the deal. Phil was scared, Steve and Mike presented scared as well. It seems like the band was going to rest, but no. Tensions increased during Wayne and Wuthering. With each session, we concentrate in Steve getting frustrated, but the scenes get calmer with song production, particularly one for The Vine, and then we reach discussions about the EP, then the live album, and finally Steve leaving. And then there were three focuses on them just carrying out, Follow You, Follow Me becoming a hit, and on Phil's first divorce. This sad moment is interrupted by a funny scene of Roland gifting drum machines to the band. Mike enters the room happy, shows the box to Tony and Phil. Both just reject the gift. Phil says, why would I use that if I'm the drummer? And Tony adds, that's like a musical box. Soon they will fall in love with those instruments, but that's a story for another time. Well, this time Genesis is still on their MAMA tour